Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a battery change on a vintage Tag Heuer model number. I'm going to show it to you right here. CK1121. It's a Swiss made quartz. It's got the piece style hour hand. I don't know what you would call that. I know Rolex has that as well. Um, leave a comment below in regards to the proper name for that. I'm not even going to pretend to know that. Um, I'm actually doing this for a co-worker. So, this, um, the way you're going to set it, this is actually a screw down crown. The first position, you can actually set the hour independently. And that's actually how you're going to set your date. So you got two and so on and so forth. If you don't want to go through that, this is really good when it comes down to when you're traveling and you got to go back an hour or above an hour. You just simply go up or back, um, and then you click it out one more time, and then you can do one more time here. Um, you actually will do it the traditional way. So you've got the two clicks. I wonder if it's got the. I wonder if uh, you can actually change, now you change the date to that, okay. So let's get to what we need to do here, which is changing the battery on this guy. So first things first, what I like to do is give myself some access to the back by, and this one actually has the, um, uh, the micro adjustment. So I'm just gonna basically just try to there we go. And, and, and all the micro adjustment is, is a push pin that you see here. And all I did was uh, press it in with my, um, with my little trusty tool that you're typically using for your bracelet to get this off and whatnot. So this little handy tool always, as I said, comes in handy. So. This is a screw down um, case back. So what we need for that is our case back removal tool. And we just fit that into the grooves and adjust so that we are nice and snug, as you can see there. And then we're just gonna go lefty loosey. And that will indeed loosen up our back. Okay, and actually it got, I like had it so tight that it actually came off with it, so that's great. So, what do we have back here? We have the movement. So as you see, the movement, or the battery, is held in by two screws. So, I'm going to take off my gloves at this point, and this is going to requires some fine dexterity and we're gonna get a little bit of a close-up here I have a screwdriver that is going to fit that screw right there there we are flathead and we'll focus back down there try to get as close as possible and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this screw here and typically, you can remove a screw that we're going to do here. You want to be careful not to lose it. Okay. And there it is. And as you can see, we could actually just kind of spin that backward just enough that we can actually release the battery. Um, so we can actually spin that up. Oh, this came right off, so that's no problem. Um, we'll just loosen this screw up here um, so that we can fit this piece in. And I'm going to show you what's holding that in. But you definitely want to put this back in. So let's get this into focus here. This is what's holding the battery in. So 
this little this little piece right here and the same on this side is basically what's what what basically surrounds the screw so when you tighten it down this thing gets tightened down and keeps the battery from as you can see here jumping out so we can now simply remove the battery with the proper tool which would be more of a flathead okay so this one requires simply an energizer 30, 394 or 380 it doesn't have to be an energizer it just has to be the size battery so and we're going to replace it today with an energizer and we're going to put that right in there and it fits in there nice and snug and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our piece back on so basically we're going to reverse the process we're going to fit that into that screw and we do have it lined up with this side here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this down and while I'm tightening it down I want to make sure that this thing doesn't move on me okay and it keeps it in place there we are and then we take the screw and these things are so tiny like you really have to be careful so take a look at the size of this little guy right here I don't even know if I can even focus in on it let's see can we get a focus on that take my word on it this thing is tiny and we're gonna fit that right into there and as I said you got to be really careful um, not to lose it because it's gonna bounce around and stuff so don't want to get caught in the movement there but you want to get the screw right into here so that we can get this back on okay so I'm gonna hold that down with my finger and I'm kind of blocking the angle there and I can maybe even get now that's about as close as we can get and we're gonna just screw that one down just like that gonna get it nice and snug Perfect. Okay, so that battery is not going to go anywhere. Um, here's the gasket. I mean, if you want to replace the gasket, you can, but basically, you would just pry this out, put the new gasket back in, um, and then put the case back back on. You're going to twist it back on the same way. You're going to go righty tighty, and that, my friends, completes the changing of the battery. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, click a like. We'd love to have you on board. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day.